All right, good morning. It is about 7.30, 7.40, day three. Uh, we've been up since about 5.45. We've had coffee, oatmeal. Um, we all just got done kind of doing a, you know, a 20 or 30 minute little yoga stretch session. I'm feeling really good, um, but that'll probably fade pretty quick. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful camp. I wish I had more time to fish this lake and there's a couple others nearby, but I just don't. So our down day is coming soon, so we should be able to, you know, get some good fishing in, but that's probably not going to happen today. Uh, again, going to be a big day. Uh, we are going to be summiting Kings Peak here in a, hopefully a few hours, and um, yeah, just incredible. This, this particular area has been one of the prettiest camps I've ever had up here. Um, and again, we've still not seen uh, anybody. We've had this entire, um, this entire place to ourselves. Um, love that. Gonna go drink some water and uh, get packed up. We'll see y'all on the trail. dropping into Painter's Basin. Just look how incredible this is. It is so beautiful up here. Uh, we're all just kind of taking a break here uh, in awe. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, I have been up over this mountain before, but it was from a different direction, so I've never actually been right here before. So we're going to see some new stuff. and uh, We don't have a long ways to go, but we got a lot of work. A lot of work to do, so it'll be good. at the base of Anderson Pass. The weather is a little bit threatening, so uh, we're taking a break, topping off our water. We're both pulling some weather forecast, uh, a weather report with our Garmin uh, that we're gonna take a look at before we make some plans. Um, you know, I don't mind uh, skirting up over the pass in the rain, but uh, if it starts, you know, a, a rainstorm would probably deter us from going up to Kings Peak, but uh, we'll see what the report says and uh, we'll probably check in up on Anderson Pass. It's been a beautiful hike today. There's King's Peak there behind me. Uh, we're just right here in Anderson Pass and um, it looks like we're probably not gonna get an opportunity to go up to King's Peak today. A couple different reasons. The weather's uh, getting a little bad. There's been some uh, thunder, pretty ominous in every direction. A couple trail runners just came down and uh, said they had to hurry real, uh, hurry real quick at the top because the hair was starting to stand up on their skin. So uh, we're gonna take the, the safe route and uh, we'll come back and conquer this another day. But these are uh, incredible views. This has been the prettiest day we've had on the trail yet. So really neat, really neat to see. Mikkel really wanted to do King's Peak. So ma maybe I'll next okay. month. <laughs> I'll be okay, it's just not in the cards today.
we're still soaking up this incredible view, but it's already, uh, it's getting really black up above us, thunder starting, so I feel bad about not making it up there, but it's the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do, and, uh, you know, we'll uh, live to do it another day. But the view, I'm telling you what, I can't, I can't even describe how, how incredible this is, and I know a few of you guys have done this and been up here, so you know what I'm talking about. Ooh uh, we have made it down the pass, uh, all the way down there behind me. That was pretty rough. Um, beautiful. Um, I probably said this earlier, but this has been by far the prettiest day we've had up here on the High Line. We're going to take a break, uh, probably eat a little bit, drink some water, and then uh, hopefully work our way to camp that I'd like to be to by six, but uh, we'll just kind of see. Shiwi. What did you find there? What is that? I found her Shiwi. Who's Shiwi? Kim Shiwi. That's Kim Shiwi? That's Kim Shiwi. <laughs> We better get I'm that holding back. her pee device in my hand. We better get it's that back to her. It has been another long day and we've just found an incredible spot to pitch a tent. Great views in both directions. We're above tree line, but uh, hopefully wind isn't too much of an issue. There's a lake right behind us, just full of fish. We're gonna have a down day at this lake tomorrow. Uh, peak refuel for dinner, starving, so we're gonna get that going and uh, we're gonna start relaxing, winding down for the night. It is amazing up here. It's about uh, 7.45. We've all had dinner, uh, a couple of drinks, feeling much better. Man, this through hiking stuff's a little bit different than my uh, regular style of backpacking, but we're having so much fun. And, um, you know, we have a full day. We're going to fish so much tomorrow. In fact, I'll probably fish all day. But I'm down here on the water, and I'm going to try and catch a fish uh, before going to bed. There's been a lot of activity, surface activity. I got a leech on, and I just want at least one fish before... Heading back to the tent and watching movies and uh, starting fresh tomorrow. Really shallow right here. I'm only going to give it, you know, uh, probably work the bank from one side to the other. Then it's bedtime. Bingo! Good fish, Nate! Oh, this is way bigger than that one you caught. Oh, this is way bigger. Way bigger. Oh, beautiful. Find my... Beautiful, uh, about a 10 inch brook trout. Really pretty fish. That's two, buddy. Another good one. Oh, heck yeah. Brook trout. Micro woolly bugger.
This is about 12 inches. 12 inch brook trout, beautiful fish. We'll get that right back in the water. Does this spot behind me look familiar? Yeah, that's, uh, that's right where I was catching the fish. <laughs> Lucky I like the guy. <laughs> that's, that's frowned upon on, on, on my local rivers, but in these alpine ponds, that's fine. <laughs> uh, good day. I brought three to my net, um, lost two or three. Uh, Nate caught a really chunky 12-inch cutthroat. I didn't even know there were cutthroat in here. So he wants one more fish, and I'm going to sit by and watch him before uh, calling it a night. And uh, if he hooks into one, we'll uh, we'll probably try and catch it on film. And if not, we'll uh, check in. We'll check in at the tent before bed. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm not cold. Um, <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Nine ish. Oh, that's a good question. Eight forty-five, nine. Probably the sun. Uh, it, it, nine it, fifteen. It, nine fifteen. Quarter after nine. It's still light, but it's going to be dark soon. Had a really good, uh, really good little fishing session, and I'm really excited doing some more tomorrow. Nate and I both got fish, healthy fish, uh, really good uh, chunky fish. So uh, tomorrow is our down day. We will be staying here um, all day uh, and tomorrow night before hitting the trail again. Maybe a little day hike, but uh, tons of tons of trout in the lake behind us. So um, yeah, I think we're all tired. I'm tired. Mikel's I'm super tired. tired. We've had a good dinner. There's nothing nothing else to do besides put a movie on and go to bed. So that's exactly what we're going to do, and we'll see you all in the morning. Get that out of the way. All right, good morning. It is day four. Are we out day four? Yeah. It is day four. We're up. Uh, we slept in. I think it's like eight or so. Um, had a pretty good little rainstorm this morning. Uh, which was pretty cool to just sit in the tent and listen to but I'm gonna do some coffee right here in the vestibule probably gonna do breakfast right here in the vestibule and then we have all day to relax so uh, I got a good book I want to start reading I want to do a lot of fishing and um, you know probably not too much walking around where we still got quite a few more uh, big days ahead of us so anyway get some coffee going we'll check in here in a bit well it is um little update from camp here. I think it's uh, quarter after 10, 10.30 maybe. We've pretty much been in the tent all morning. Had some great coffee from the vestibule. Um, it's been raining um, this entire morning, been raining. It looks like we got a small break in the weather and I might throw my GoPro on and go try and catch a fish. But I've been reading a great book. This has kept me pretty busy this morning. Mikkel's been reading a book too. I don't know where it went. It's right here. Where do you read it? I'm reading that. Uh, she's reading that. Clearly, clearly, mine looks quite a bit better of a read. <laughs> no. but, uh, yeah, it's it's a little too wet and uh, stormy for the big camera, so we're gonna leave that at camp. And I think I'm gonna get out. I need to stretch my legs at minimum. I so. do too. We're gonna go right down there and try and at least catch a fish. So. This uh, looks really deep right here, and that the little woolly bugger is what I'm gonna start with. I tied that up a few days before the trip. That's some good fight. My goodness. Ah, oh, yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. yourself up there but I'm just letting it recover but uh a beautiful beautiful little brook trout All right, I just hooked into another uh oh it's got some fight too feels like another one of these healthy brook trout in here we'll see A little smaller. And another beautiful little brook trout. A uh, little smaller than we've been catching, but very pretty. <laughs> All right, guys. So I, I this one just surface struck my uh, little leech pattern. It doesn't feel as big as uh, some of the other ones, but we'll get it in here to the net and take a look.
Okay, this this feels pretty good. Just came off. All right. Just got another. It's on fire this morning. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys look at this fish here. Just a chunky, chunky 14 inch brook trout. We're gonna get it released nice and safely. All right, Nate's on to a fish. It's fighting pretty good, so uh, I'm gonna help him out and net it. Goodness. Got it. No. Chunky little brook trout. Beautiful fish. I got a pig, buddy. This feels like a good fish. This is, uh, I think, my 10th fish this morning. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful colors on that thing. Look at this beautiful fish. That's probably another one of those chunky, uh, about 14 inches, really healthy. And uh, I'm just gonna let it recover here in the net. And we'll get it back in the water here in just a, here in just a second. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we got here. go uh, about 10 inch little brook trout do you happen to know what time it is 12.01 noon cool yep. awesome noon uh, we fished for about an hour uh, we probably caught I think uh, about 15 fish between all of us uh, most of them were uh, pretty healthy uh, above average size for the Hyuintas so a really good fishing session but a little weathers came in so we're uh, hunkered down in the tent I'm really enjoying this book. It's uh, really engaging, so I'm gonna read another chapter or so um, until the, the weather gives me another opportunity to get back down on the water. So, uh, awesome, awesome down day. Uh, feels good to relax. We've all, we all needed it. You needed it? Yes. Yeah, we all needed it, so. Uh, we finally got a little bit of blue skies. Uh, we all just had a little bit of lunch. It was delicious. I feel pretty good and um, I'm on the water. We're going to do some fishing. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, up to this point, when we've been able to fish, uh, catch rate's been quick and they've been healthy, and I'm hoping that continues. All right, here we go. Good fish. That's a healthy fish. Wow. Fourteen inches. Oh, beautiful. That's a, a really chunky brook trout, about 14 inches. Beautiful brook trout. Beautiful fish. Ah, yeah. Okay, here is my update. I, uh, 
I heard a lot of fish ons and Nate said he found a honey hole. And if you can remember from last night, he had no problem poaching my hole. So I came right over here. I'm gonna join him. Bingo. Oh yeah. These fish are so aggressive. Holy cow. Probably can't see it with that camera angle, but I don't know, Mikel's probably caught 10 fish in the last 30 minutes. Just on fire down there. That's a good fish. Hey, Dustin's a good fish. Got a good fish? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, Nate and Mikel say they got a good fish, so uh, based on what I've seen already, I believe him. Hopefully this is a better one, though. That's a good fish. Oh, boy. 13. Look at this rod, buddy. Look at this guy. Holy cow, these things fight. Oh my goodness, guys. Bingo. Oh. Oh my gosh, these are healthy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Just beautiful fish. So fat. Look at that. Yeah, 10 inches. Holy cow! Got one on the cast! <laughs> Came off. Is this too close to you? No, you're fine. Bingo. Yeah. Beautiful. Man, Mikel's on again right behind me. Um, outrageous fishing. Uh, actually, some of the better Hiawana fishing I've... It's some of the better Hiawana fishing I've ever, ever had, and they're all so healthy. But um, unfortunately, my camera battery's going dead. Nate's wearing my GoPro over there, and I do not want to walk way across the lake to get another camera, so we're going to shut it down uh, for a bit and uh, just have fun fishing. Alright, I have got the GoPro back from Nate. I think he caught a handful of fish on it and um, 
it's about six o'clock. I just had a little snack at camp. The other three are back at camp relaxing. We got another, you know, three or four long days ahead of us. So we're gonna, you know, kind of have dinner and call it an early night. But I haven't had dinner yet. Before I cook my uh, dinner, peak refuel again tomorrow or tonight. Peak refuel, bleh, peak refuel again for me tonight and Mikkel. But I want to catch a, at least try and catch a, another fish or two or three before, um, you know, we hit the trail again. Because these uh, these days, ooh, you know, we're camping every night at lakes that we can fish. But you know, we're so tired when we get there. <laughs> so I feel good now and we're going fishing. beautiful fish Ooh. all right it is uh it's early it's almost seven o'clock and we are all just kind of getting in the tents to wind down for the night um we got you know like i said we got three or four more days on the trail uh, and it's gonna be a, a few long days so um i don't think anybody's ready for bed yet but uh we're gonna probably read a book i'm sure Mikel and i are gonna read for an hour and then put a movie on until we fall asleep Dinner was great, and um, fishing today was just out of control. Um, uh, awesome, awesome day on the water. Uh, about as good a day as you can get up here. Just incredible fishing. So, awesome down day, and I think we all got a lot of rest and recovery, and, uh, you know, we'll see you on the trail uh, in the morning. <laughs> 